So Eric, fall is kind of winding down here, but the excitement at the same time is about to begin. Yeah, some of the teams have had some good success this fall. Uh, currently, obviously, football is 5-1. and one. Uh, They're about midway through their season, but uh, hopefully they're going to continue on and project and hopefully get a CISC tournament bid. That's their, I know that's their, their uh, seasonal goal that they're looking to accomplish. Uh, some of the other sports that have wrapped up their fall season are volleyball. Girls volleyball ended their regular season at 13-6, and six, and they've qualified for the CIAC uh, state tournament. Field hockey, uh, with an earlier week uh, win this week uh, against Maloney, they've qualified for, qualified for the CIAC state tournament. And girls soccer has also qualified for the CIAC state soccer tournament. So all in all, our teams have had success. Uh, on the cross-country side, cross-country, just completed their CIAC Open Meet, uh, as well as swimming now is getting ready for um, their CCC uh, state championship, or excuse me, conference championships, as well as they're going to be projecting a lot of their swimmers to the CIAC uh, Class Double L Meet, as well as Open Meet. So uh, again, it's been a successful fall, uh, and we're looking forward now. Hopefully, football can can uh, ride the wave and, and get into the tournament. And we're, we wish the best to uh, swimming and to cross country and to all the teams that are going to be competing in the state tournament, which starts next week. So it's been a rumor that this is probably one of the nicer facilities in the state, but apparently it's not a rumor anymore because a lot of other uh, the CIAC think so as well. Yeah, we've, uh, we've, we've utilized the facility. In fact, this week we just hosted um, the CCC girls uh, semi soccer semifinals uh, where we had two games, uh, five and seven o'clock. And uh, the surface itself, the facility itself, is getting used seven days a week. Uh, it starts at 7.30 in the morning with physical education. And last night in particular, we hosted the DePaula Middle School, Kennedy Middle School boys and girls soccer games. So last night, the facility was going to almost 7 o'clock last night. So it's getting a tremendous amount of use. It's being well kept, well maintained. Um, and uh, you can go online uh, to, to look at the schedule and you can see that the use of the facility is seven days a week. So the CIAC also brings income to Southington. Yeah, when we utilized the facility this week for the CCC uh, Girls Semifinal Soccer Tournament, uh, we obviously uh, charge for the use of the facility, as well as uh, charge for the fact that we are using our event personnel, but we are bringing in uh, revenue to, um, to the town uh, for the use of the field. And that was something that uh, we talked about uh, in the early stages of planning when we were looking at putting this field in.